Dear friends, good morning. Welcome to Coffee with God. And I am Father Jose. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. May the Holy Spirit illumine our hearts and minds and burn us with the fire of God's love. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 8, verses 1 to 10. Passage taken from the Message Version of the Bible. At about the same time, he had found himself with a hungry crowd on his hand. He called his disciples together and said, This crowd is breaking my heart. They have stuck with me for three days, and now they have nothing to eat. If I send them home hungry, they will faint along the way. Some of them have come a long distance. His disciples responded, What do you expect us to do about it? Buy food out here in the desert? He asked, How much bread do you have? Seven loaves, they said. So Jesus told the crowd to sit down on the ground. After giving thanks, he took the seven bread loaves, broke them into pieces, and gave them to his disciples so they could hand them out to the crowd. They also had a few fish. He pronounced it a blessing over the fish and told his disciples to hand them out as well. The crowd ate its fill. Seven sacks of leftover were collected. There were well over four thousands at the mill. Then he sent them home. He himself went straight to the boat with his disciples and set out for Dalmanother. The Gospel of the Lord Reflections on the Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 8 verses 1 to 10 To a present-day reader of the Gospel, the behavior of those 4,000 people would seem absurd. They simply decide to come far away from their homes to follow a preacher disregarding their own needs for food. The Gospel insists that the listeners of the Word of God chose to remain close to Christ. And he was moved with pity and he sought a remedy for their hunger. The Gospel gives us a vital lesson for life. When we persevere to remain in Him, as we read in Gospel of John chapter 15 verse 4, Christ Himself provides for our needs. He knows our exact circumstances, how far we have come and how hungry we are. He provides for our every need. As the Son of God, Jesus had the power to fix the problem of hunger. But He didn't fix it Himself. He chose to invite people to be missionaries to feed the hungry. How many loaves do you have is the question. Today Jesus asks us as well. We answer by dedicating our time, talents and treasure to Christ. In the apostolic exhortation, Christus Vivit, number 174, Pope Francis appeals to the world. Please do not leave it to others to be protagonists of change. You are the ones who hold the future. Jesus was not a bystander. He got involved. Don't stand aloof, but immerse yourself in the reality of life as Jesus did. Above all, in one way or another, fight for the common good, serve the poor, be protagonists of the revolution of charity and service, capable of resisting the pathologies of consumerism and superficial individualism. People who have dedicated themselves to caring for the hungry and homeless have always found what they needed at their doorstep. There is a crucial element in today's gospel we cannot overlook. It was not Jesus but his disciples who distributed the food. Our world has enough resources to satisfy the hunger of all its peoples but not enough to feed the greed of even one person. 
if there is hunger malnutrition and other unmet needs in the world today it is because we are failing in our task of distribution hunger and suffering are not the work of god instead it is our failure to do any work our every day should be a time of giving we could ask ourselves to whom are we giving can we widen our circle of people to whom we reach out with gifts that mean life or death for our receivers or benefactors and they will never know who their benefactors are and they will not be able to give anything back to us and this is jesus's way of giving so quietly that the left hand does not know what the right hand is doing